It's my birthday today. Let's make my birthday cake. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Today is my 31st birthday and because I have MCS, middle child syndrome, it is one of my favorite days of the year because it's finally all about me. But moving on to what is more important, what we're actually gonna be doing today. Today's video is all about trying new things that I've seen on TikTok, and I thought making my birthday cake would be the perfect opportunity to try a churro cheesecake that I've seen many a times as I've been swiping through some TikToks. So that is what we're gonna be making today. Last year, Juan made my birthday cake. Hopefully I'll be able to get him to make some treats in the future because that's always fun to watch. But I wanted to kind of be in charge of this one. So let's get to it. So to make this, I'm making a double batch because we have a large family. I am using 32 ounces of cream cheese. This is equivalent to four bricks of cream cheese, one cup of sugar, one cup of sour cream, two teaspoons of vanilla, two pinches of salt, four eggs, and four packs of crescent roll dough. And then we're also using a cup of sugar and four tablespoons of cinnamon to be sprinkled on, uh, we'll see that later. You're also gonna need some cooking spray and in my case, two 13 by nine inch pans. I will make sure to put the single batch recipe down below in the description box for your reference if you guys wanna try this for yourself and don't have as large of a family as I do. So let's get mixing. So I'm just gonna take this one ingredient at a time. I have my room temperature cream cheese, which has been sitting out for a little while. I'm gonna blend in the cup of sugar and then once this is smooth, we'll add in some of the other ingredients. All right, I'm gonna give this a good scrape down. Now, last year I posted, like I said, my video of Juan making my carrot cake, which is probably one of my favorite videos of our channel. So if you guys have not seen that video, make sure you go check it out. I will link it up above so that you know you can easily click on it but it, it's just i don't know it's one of my favorite videos and then last year now i'm pouring in the sour cream um last year i also did like a see what i get from my birthday for free type of video and i'm getting a lot of the same free stuff this year so i wasn't going to make a duplicate video that would just kind of in my opinion be boring to watch so I'm not going to make you guys sit through it, but I also will link that video up above and down below if you want to check it out. I've gotten free coffees. I'm going to be picking up a free bunt cake, some pastries from like Panera, and I feel like there's a couple other places. So you can get a lot of free stuff for your birthday. And if your birthday isn't, you know, yesterday, <laughs> then you can make sure you sign up for these things and get them yourself. Okay, sour cream is in, let me blend this up. So the one thing that I'm actually worried about regarding this recipe is our sour cream was sitting in the back of our fridge, which is where it gets like icy. And when we took it out to kind of get more room temp, it was like icy sour cream. And when it defrosted, it was a little bit more liquidy than what I'm used to. So. If this cake has a texture problem, I'm gonna blame it on that, and I'm gonna focus more on the taste. Now we're gonna add in our four eggs and give this a good mix. Okay, this is looking good. I really haven't made cheesecake in a while, and I have another recipe for cheesecake, so if you guys want me to share that, let me know. But this is looking yummy, as most cheesecakes do. I'm gonna add in the vanilla now and my two pinches of salt, which I wish, you know, I wish instead of a pinch of salt, they would actually just tell you like an eighth of a teaspoon or something like that. That is measurable because I have big hands, big fingers. My pinches might be bigger than someone else's. I don't know, does anyone else get annoyed by that? That is nice and mixed now. Let me scrape it down and then I'll give you guys a close up. Alrighty, this is what it looks like, up nice and close, super creamy, and now it's time to assemble our cake. 
But first I'm gonna preheat my oven. That way it is nice and warm and ready when I am done assembling the cake. So we're gonna be baking this at 350 and we're gonna be baking it for 30 minutes. So while that's warming, let's assemble this cake. So to assemble this, I have my two 13 by nine inch cake pans. We are going to give it a good spray. All right, now that that's done, we get to mixing our cinnamon and sugar. So I have a full cup and four tablespoons, which I think is a little bit more than a fourth of a cup, but I just did four tablespoons of our cinnamon and I'm gonna mix this up and then we're gonna do a little thin layer on the bottoms of these pans. This looks nice and mixed. And after we put a layer on the bottoms of each of these, we're also gonna do another layer later on. So I'm gonna use a fourth of this mixture on the bottom of this pan, a fourth on this pan, and then again later. So what I might do just to kind of keep it somewhat consistent is get a fourth of a cup measuring cup so that I am as close to, you know, precise as possible. Okay, got my little cup here and we're gonna give this a good sprinkle. And I probably use like half of this fourth of a cup, which is probably fine because it's on the bottom and we probably want more later on. So I'm just gonna use the other half on the bottom of the other one. All right, the next thing is we're gonna take one crescent roll dough thing here and lay it down on top of the cinnamon sugar. So this is what it looks like. And since I know that I have a lot of cinnamon sugar, I'm actually gonna sprinkle just a little bit on top of the crescent roll dough. Okay, then because I am nerdy and very particular about my baking, I am gonna try to portion up my cheesecake mixture equally among both of these cakes. So I'm gonna be using my little scale that I have if you don't have this, obviously, if you're making a double batch, you can eyeball it. If you're making a single batch, well, you don't need to do this at all, so don't worry about it. But here I go with my nerdy self. All right, so that is pretty precisely measured out. Now I'm just gonna give it a nice little spread here. And we are almost done and ready for the last step. Okay, so now that those are filled, I am going to use up a little bit more of our cinnamon sugar mixture. This is probably too much uh, for a double and then therefore a single recipe. You could probably cut this down, but you never know, it might add some extra yummy goodness. But I'm just gonna give it a light dusting on the cheesecake mixture and then save the rest for the top. The last thing we're gonna do is put another roll of crescent rolls on top of our cheesecake mixture. Now I actually enjoy popping these open, but I know that some people get anxiety doing that. Let me know which person you are. Do you like popping these open or do you have anxiety when you're opening up these crescent rolls? Now this is the trickier part because I gotta have to have it stretched out. Oh no, definitely tricky. Okay, so let's roll half of it out. Definitely trickier, okay. And this doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Like I want it to be stretched. It's obviously easier the first time you lay it down because there's nothing underneath it. Okay, so it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it will, I'm sure, be delicious. So with this one, I'm gonna give it a slightly different technique. Instead of trying to lay the entire thing down all at once, I am going to do it like in fourths and rotate it lengthwise, and hopefully that will give it better coverage. Okay, my plan is not quite working out as I thought it would, so I'm gonna split the last fourth up, and I think this will work out. So the last step is just to really cover this guy with our cinnamon sugar mixture, and we're not gonna hold back. So that was a fourth of a cup. And if I have any extra, I'm obviously not gonna pour like even more on. I think I'm just gonna save it for some cinnamon toast maybe later on in the week. Okay, these bad boys are ready. Let's throw them in the oven and watch them bake. So it's been about 20 minutes and I'm gonna switch these guys around just so that it's kind of cooking evenly, but they're looking good. All right, now these guys are out of the oven. The party has started, so I'm gonna throw these in the fridge to firm up for about two to four hours. 
So one little trick that my family kind of uses to maximize storage space in the fridge is to throw a cookie sheet between the pans and that way you don't have to take up as much kind of surface space in your fridge. But also I just wanted to mention and show you guys for my birthday I also made some Funfetti cookies. I love this mix. They sell a smaller version at the Dollar Tree but you can get a slightly larger pack at any other grocery store. And I whipped this up and it made a lot of cookies. Uh, I really like watching these guys bake in the oven. It's always fun. Um, but then we went ahead and I frosted the cookies and put on the sprinkles that came with the frosting that they sell, you know, pre-packaged. And I had some of the kiddos help me. So it made for a fun activity to kind of keep them busy and a delicious treat in case the churro cheesecake didn't turn out to be as much of a hit as I was hoping for. Hey guys, so I am just checking in at the end of the day. I stayed up very late because for some reason I like to stay up till the time I was born, which was I think 11.48 p.m. It was so close to midnight and I was born on my grandpa's birthday, so kind of a little fun fact about me, but I just finished getting ready for bed and I wanted to let you guys know how this dessert actually tasted and kind of turned out. So it wasn't bad, but I think I would rather have like my homemade cinnamon rolls if I want like a cinnamon cream cheese type dessert. It wasn't um, super like solid and the dough on the bottom was still like a little underbaked, which wasn't a huge, you know, big deal. But I think it was because I made a double batch and still only cooked it for 30 minutes. My guess is that having that extra um, pan in the oven made it so that I would have actually needed to cook it longer. So I think had I only made a single batch, it probably would have had a better texture. But like I said, the taste was there. I still would prefer my cinnamon rolls over this dessert. So I don't see myself making this again. We have some leftovers, so I'll enjoy it again, but I don't think I'm gonna make it again. I'd rather do the extra work for my cinnamon rolls, which I will link above because the, that is a recipe that is worth trying for sure. Many other people in my family kind of agreed with those feelings, although my nephew was like, can I have my birthday here? He had a second serving, so, you know, it may be just, you know, a difference of taste, but I don't plan on making this again unless it's for my nephew's birthday. But I'd like to thank you for coming along on this little trying TikTok video and spending my birthday with me, although obviously this will be posted days after my birthday, but nonetheless, thank you for being here. I'd like to invite you guys to subscribe if you guys are new and stumbling upon my video and channel for the first time. Give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and be a special birthday gift, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you didn't know already, my name is Emily from Lima Bean Living. Welcome, we are so happy to have you. We post videos every Monday and Friday on a variety of content, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, military life, DIYs, encouraging mathematical development in children, and so much more. Thank you so much again for watching and until next time.